know, I've done something to the back of my ankle and I don't know what I've done. Like, it's like, you know, when the ankle meets the, the, the leg, like, it's around there. And I don't know, I think I must have pulled it or something, but I was just like, how did I pull it? Like, I don't understand. Why does it hurt so much? I'm debating whether to take painkillers because it's, like, that bad and I'm limping all over the flat. I'm like, oh, God, um, this is slowing me down. <laughs> I am Rose as you should know by now or if you don't hello I am Rose and welcome back um, it's 2022 Woo! so morning. so 2021 has has left us thank god for that um, I'm really looking forward to 2022 I have a good feeling a positive feeling about 2022 like my tarot cards were very positive Actually, if you want me to make a video about the tarot cards that I've, uh, of my tarot card spread that I did, l uh, put some likes or comments in below. Uh, I might actually do that now, actually. That sounds really fun. I would love to talk about my spread that I had for the upcoming year. So yeah, um, I started 2022 mostly at work, um, which was fun. Like, I, I didn't really have a lot of, if I wasn't working, I would probably have been, been home watching Netflix doing nothing so or working on my novel so you know either way I didn't really have much going on for the new year um celebrations so um I didn't mind being at work to be honest <laughs> yeah I actually properly celebrated the new year on the 2nd of January because I was at work half the day on the 1st and I was just like you know what the, the second is the new year for me <laughs> like I'll get planning I'll do stuff on the second um things that I normally do so yeah that was fun to do um and uh part of the things that I did on the second was write a new year's resolution list and to understand my new year's resolutions of 2020 2022 we have to go back into the past of that this time last year and know the new year's resolutions I made in the beginning of 2021 so without further ado let's get into the old resolutions and what I actually accomplished from them so I have my old resolutions written in my old diary uh, I've got to try and get rid of it somehow because it's not 2021 anymore I wanted to order the sort of same sort of diary for 2022 but um, the one that I ordered and what I really like the most um it comes from all the way in America and uh, obviously it's a bit more expensive when you order something from another country to come in so I was just like you know what I'm gonna play it safe and get like a cheap one from not a cheap one but get a reasonably placed one from the UK so um yeah that's in the living room somewhere I think um um but with this old planner I was able they had like this box set where you could put all your goals for 20 for the next year so um but with my new diary they didn't have that so I kind of like uh it's, it's actually pinned up on my wardrobe I actually put the list uh I actually remade the list from the old diary and just um yeah <laughs> so um I still have the sort of same sort of um timetable for it not timetable but template um, but it's just not in my diary anymore but um yeah so this is what it looks like so there we go I'm not gonna mention all of them because some of them are very personal um or they're they go towards my finances so um I'm not gonna mention all of them but in total I had 12 new year's resolutions at the beginning of 2021 um and they were all kind of like categorized like there was like free for writing or four if you count one of them 
and then there were three personal ones, two spiritual ones, and then one career, and then there was one future, like building towards my future, which was in combination with my finances. So um, I'm not going to talk about that one, as I didn't, also I didn't actually compl um, reach that goal of what the future finances was, so um, I didn't, so that's one out of 12 that I didn't do. So what I did achieve from my 12 New Year's resolutions was one um, from the writing category, let's do categories, let's go through ca writing categories, what did I achieve from that? So one of the New Year's resolutions with the writing was to finish the first draft of a novel, possibly by April, but I didn't get it done by April, I got it done by July, but it still counts, I got it done, so that's one <laughs> checkpoint that I managed to do. And then the second writing um, one that I um, wanted to achieve was do research for novel between May and August. I didn't do it like that. <laughs> I went. It, I started it much later. I think I started it in September. I'll put it in the description. Yes, I did start in November. Um, but yeah, I did. I did start on it. So um, that is a checkpoint, I suppose. <laughs> And then the other writing one that I had was begin writing second draft of a novel after um, looking through and editing it, possibly in September. I did it and didn't. <laughs> like this, I feel like this was both a half yes and no because I have started editing through the novel. I have started um, looking through the first draft, but I haven't begun writing it. So that was sort of a. Um, let's say a 0 0.05 <laughs> out of um, 12 resolutions and then the um, the, the fourth sort of writing writing novel relation to it was enter um, Northern Writers Awards and I did do that so that's another checkpoint for me um, and then when we go into the personal categories um, one of them says, continue to grow as a person, build on my self-respect and self-belief, and most importantly, my self-love. And I did work on that. Um, like, honestly, I think those things are just sort of a lifetime thing. You you change and you evolve and um, you have more difficulties here and there. Um, so I think I did continue working on that, but it, it was a bit of a rocky... It was a bit of a rocky time towards the end of the year, unfortunately. Um, so, but I still was working on myself, um, I was still building myself as a person, so that's a checkpoint for me. Another personal one that I had was make new friends on Bumble or clubs, and I have made new friends, sort of. Like, I made new friends here and there, especially through work, so that was another checkpoint. And the third personal one that I didn't I didn't uh, achieve was travel the UK hopefully three locations Lake District Cornwall or, and Edinburgh being at the top I didn't do that unfortunately um, it was both it was both financial and also world stuff going on as you probably know um, so I didn't complete that one unfortunately um, I would love to do it in 2022, but I'm not putting it as a New Year's resolution because I don't want to... You don't, you don't know what's going to happen in the world nowadays, so I was just like, yeah, I'll, I'll leave that out this time. <laughs> and then if we go into the spiritual categories, um, one of them was get into meditation more, performing it morning and night. And yes, I do. I did. And I did. And then I've been sort of slipping towards the end of the year, but I have been continuing to do meditation. I have continued to, um, I have done it sometimes in the morning. Like at the beginning of this year, I was doing it morning and night. But as I've gotten into this new job, into this job, it's been difficult to do it in the morning. Um, so uh, yes, I have been doing meditation, and yes, I've been sometimes doing it in the morning, but. I've been slipping towards the end, but I'm going to give myself a checkpoint for that because I have been doing it, like I haven't stopped. <laughs> so yes, there we go. And the other spiritual one that, it's it's going to be a 0 0.5 again for this one because it says become Wiccan, learn more about the customs, rituals and festivals. I have been learning slowly about Wiccan because I, um, 
and maybe one day I'll talk about it on this YouTube channel but I haven't been that dedicated towards it at the end of 2021 and that's because stuff has happened um, and it has wavered my faith a little bit but um, unfortunately things like that in life happen and I would and I still that's actually one of the New Year's resolutions that I have for this year um, which I'll talk about in a minute um, so I'll, I'll give myself a 0 0.5 for that one because I sort of did it but I didn't uh, <laughs> so it was a yes and no and then um, career wise the one that I had for career was um, get into a fulfilling job something that helps people and makes a difference which I did so um, yeah that's another checkpoint for me and then I missed one <laughs> accidentally on the personal category and that says get into a new sport possibly boxing mar martial arts aerial or horse riding I didn't do that unfortunately um, that is a from me uh, mainly because I think it's just time because when I started this new job that I have now that is giving me a fulfilling purpose um, it um, it takes a lot more of my time and then on the days that I do have um, have off at the moment I'm just completely drained I am working through it at the moment I am getting used to it but it's just I'm completely drained half the time and I just want to sleep and then also my like my whole like everything that goes goes on in my life like YouTube and my novel and everything like that it, it just takes up a lot of my time um so yeah that's why I couldn't I didn't do that so in the end I I did do eight um I did I, I did achieve eight things um did I wait one two three four five six seven Okay, I achieved seven things, because <laughs> apparently I can't count. So I did achieve seven things, and then um, I sort of achieved two things on top of that, so that makes nine, um, and then I completely didn't do three of them. So I think that's not so bad for a whole year, actually. And um, I think... <laughs> I think you also through that kind of stuff you kind of learn what you can handle and what you can't handle and um, it's also nice to look back on them because you're just like okay maybe I can push that on to next year and um, work on it more on the next year so I think it's always really good to look back on the year's resolutions not in a negative way but in a positive way be like okay that's something I need to do now or that's something that I can maybe work on in the next year so that is what I have done with my new New Year's resolutions. So uh, let's get into that one. <laughs> so just a point, I'm going to be reading the New Year's resolutions from my um, phone because even though it's just hung up right there, I can't be asked to take it off the hung position. So <laughs> uh, I'm going to be reading them off my phone. So I have a look down, that's why. And just like with the previous um, old resolutions, I'm not going to be mentioning um, four of the new new year's resolutions just because they're a bit personal or uh, like financially it's like uh, so three of them are financial ones and then the fourth one is one that I don't really want to mention out loud right now just because I don't want it to get to other people <laughs> so uh, there are four resolutions that I am not gonna talk about um, verbally right now just because finances and you know stuff I just said just now so um, but um, with the new new year's resolutions um, I categorized them again but I sort of pinned them down so they've all been all over the place so um, there are going to be 12 new year's resolutions again just with the same with the previous ones and then I categorized them into four sections so one of the four sections is finances we're not going to be talking about that um, and then the three other um, categories that we have are career, writing and personal. So um, I'm going to go into the career first. One of them I am not mentioning right now. That is the one that I don't want to verbally say talk about right now. So we're going to be talking about the two in that um, career category. Actually... Forget what I just said, um, there's going to be five things that I am not going to be talking about 
with the New Year's resolutions because there is another thing on the careers one that I don't want to get out right now <laughs> because I don't want it to bite me in the ass. So um, there are going to be so on the careers front there is only one of the New Year's resolutions that I'm going to be talking about. Sorry guys, <laughs> you might find that you might find out in towards the end of the year, but. Um, for now, I'm playing it safe and not mentioning the other one as well. So the one career one that I am talking about is get into more YouTube, get get more into YouTube. So making more videos, um, um, making like putting myself out there on Instagram, marketing it better, and just make more of a career out of it um, slowly over time over the next year. So that's one of the New Year's resolutions under careers. <laughs> so sorry about that, guys. Like I didn't realize until I was looking at it. I was like. Oh wait, I can't mention that right now. <laughs> so, um, you'll understand as time goes on why I couldn't mention it right now. Um, so yeah, so that is the one resolution from the careers category out of the three that I made under the careers category. The second section, writing, which is a little bit career, but it's more separate from career. So um, the writing um, category has three as well that I am going to be talking about. The first one is finish first draft of novel editing. That is the most important one to me right now. Um, I need to get it done because it's really frustrating me. And I have so many ideas for not just the first draft, uh, not for just the first novel, but for other future novels. And I've been telling my friends all these ideas. And I really want to get to these ideas in my novel and the whole novel series, but I'm just like, I'm stuck on the first one. I'm, I ain't even done with the first draft because I'm still editing it. So I really would just want to get it done. Um, and I am writing down all the ideas that I have for future novels and everything like that, but it's just not the same, is it? Like anyone who's a writer, you just want to get to it, don't you? So, um, but I'm trying not to push myself too much, like rush it, like, <sighs> It's so hard being a writer nowadays, like you want to rush to the ending, but then you're just like, yeah, but I need it to be perfect to, to get to it. So there we go. So finish the first draft of novel ed of the novel edit. And then the second one on the New Year's resolutions list of the writing category is start writing second draft. Um, so that is the next one. Um, and then the third one is a bit more outside of the novel writing and it's more just like write short stories and slash poetry and, and submit them to competitions because I would love to do that a bit uh, I would love to do that uh, I've never really done it before have I yeah I have actually but that was like in the past like one of them I did in recent years was due through my university degree um and also the national, uh, the, not national, Northern Writers Awards. But that was with my novel. Um, but, and then there was some in the past that I submitted my work to, but that was a long time ago. And, but so, and but so, <laughs> just laughing at myself. But I would love to get that more, I would love to get into that more over the next year, like write little short stories or poetries or prose and just submit them and see what happens really. Um, I do have an idea for one, so that's good. Um, so yeah, that's another New Year's resolutions and those are the three for the um, writing category. And the last category I'm going to be talking about is personal and there's like the other, um, like the other categories it has three. And um, the first one on that list is get more into Wicking Religion. Um, I said that I was going to be carrying it on from my new old New Year's resolutions to the next year and I would love to get more into that and just explore it and see, not see, but just get more in tune with it because I, I feel like I have in the last few months lost it a little bit. So I'd love to get more into that again and just feel a bit more connected again. Because um, when I was learning about Wiccan, when I was exploring the religion um, and everything like that, like I felt so connected and I felt like a bit more purpose in my life and in the last few months I've lost it a little bit because things have happened unfortunately and yeah I just kind of lost my way with it so I would love to get back into it a bit more and feel a bit more of a purpose again so that is one thing of the personal that I would like to do. The second on the personal front 
um, of New Year's resolutions is make new friends. Um, because I had I did make some new friends in 2021, but I <sighs> yeah um, it. I did make new friends but I was just like, I feel like everyone's just so busy with adult life, like I'm really busy, that you kind of just lose contact and you lose touch or you live so far away from everyone that you can't really see each other physically all the time and I would love to make some new friends who will live around locally um, so that I can pop down to the sh um, cafe and meet up with them for a chat or they can come around and watch a film or I can go around theirs and watch a film and you know just actually have some friends locally um, and be a bit more sociable because I can be a bit of a social hermit um, and I, I, I've i always been a bit like that like I've never really been great at like social interactions unfortunately like <sighs> yeah <laughs> as you can tell I get really nervous and I ramble and that probably scares people off um, but yeah I would love to get more socially not involved but <laughs> more um, social in the next year and make new friends and actually feel a bit more rooted where I live right now um, so yeah that is the um, second New Year's resolution of, of my personal category and the third and final one that we're going to be talking about is a bit of a fun one for me um, but also like I really want to <laughs> um, the third one is get new tattoos because me and my flatmate have a bit of a running joke in the flat um, where I I talk about wanting to get these ta certain tattoos I want to get these new tattoos and everything and she's really like she has tattoos but she's more of a fan of piercings <laughs> we just have a bit of a running joke that she's more into piercings I'm more into tattoos um, so yeah but it's true like I really want to get another tattoo I got the one on my back to symbolize my Wiccan faith and you know it looks really cool <laughs> Um, and so um, I would love to get some new ones I got a few in mind but the one that I really want to get right now is up here um, I'm not gonna say what I want to get on there because that's gonna be a surprise and I don't I don't want to put too out m much in the universe so when people would like oh you haven't gotten that tattoo yet I'm just like yeah I'm aware of that <laughs> so, and I think this one's gonna be much more expensive than my back one for the idea that I have so uh, I, I kind of want to just not say what I wanted to get until I actually get it. All I'm going to say is that it's going to be there. And then um, I'm thinking about getting one on my ankle as well and one on my thigh. Like I have lots of ideas of tattoos that I really want. Um, so um, I would love to just do that throughout 2022 but that goes into finances which is um, things that I'm not going to be talking about with the New Year's resolutions. <laughs> So yeah, um, those are my New Year's resolutions. Well, like most of, like 10, how many did I mention? Those are seven out of 12 on my New Year's resolutions. I can't do maths apparently. <laughs> um, it, it was just very um, well done with me because I didn't pass maths, so that's probably, sounds about right. Um, so yeah, those are seven of my New Year's resolutions of the 12 altogether. I'm sorry I couldn't mention five of them just because three of them are financial and then the two you'll you will find out over the, the next year what those two are but um, I don't want to say them right now because I don't want anyone that I know um, <laughs> finding out about these ideas that I have especially in like the careers way um, so yeah um, I don't want anyone finding out about that um, until it actually happens so yeah um, those are the 12 7 out of 12 New Year's resolutions, I keep saying that. So let's just like move on to the next part of what I want to talk about. Um, the last year of 2021 has been a testing year, I would say. Not just like um, new of goals and resolutions that I wanted to do, but just it's been a lot. It's like looking back, I have accomplished a lot. Like. Um, I'll probably get into it more when I have that video of the three year um, time gap of what things that I did but uh, just to summarise of what 2021 consisted of was uh, I got a new job in a very fulfilling but demanding um, industry um, 
and um, I've, I've been working really hard with that and then um, I finished the first draft of my novel um, and then started doing research around it so that's three things um, and what else did I do? Um, I, bit, I had a bit of a mental health crisis halfway through the year unfortunately I had to take two weeks of sick leave off and that's when I started to prioritise my mental health a bit more uh, so that's the fourth thing that's happened um, and then I also went to visit my friend in Hereford so that was nice like that I did travel the UK a little bit so yay for me <laughs> um, and then I did my tarot cards um, did my tarot card reading classes which was really fun and I hope to get into that more in the new year now um, and what else did I do? God, like, it's, this whole year, like, has been so mucky. Like, another thing that I did was get into YouTube again, which is another accomplishment this year that I didn't actually think I was going to do until I did it. Um, and I got into volunteering this year. Um, what else? <laughs> um, I started editing the first draft of my novel. Um... Um, I survived three falls off my bike, um, literally the last two falls that I had, the middle one and the third one, I was literally so lucky that there were no cars around at that point because it was on the road, uh, it was in the neighbourhood areas but like it was, so it was so lucky that no cars were around so I survived three falls off my bike, <laughs> like brilliant. Um, and then um, I, I like literally there's probably stuff after I've finished filming this edit this video that I've done that I can't really think of right now that I've done in the last year but those things alone that's happened I am so a part of me feels like oh you didn't do much but I have done a lot this past year and I need to give myself credit for it, and I think that's one of the things that uh, we we as human beings don't do for ourselves we don't give ourselves credit for things that we have done even if it doesn't feel like big big thing overall like it's not it doesn't feel like a big thing to you but it can but if it's if it's impacted your life in a certain way and it's also challenged you in a certain way it is very big and I think we all need to learn how to be more proud of ourselves that's something that I'm trying to learn right now um like getting this new job that I am I am in it's I will talk about it more in my three year video um but this job is n nothing that I've ever done before and it's very demanding it's very hard but it's also very rewarding and very fulfilling um and I'm so proud of doing this job right now um, and I'm proud of all the hard work I've done towards it and it has challenged me a lot um, it's challenged me a lot emotionally physically and mentally <laughs> it's a very challenging job but it's it's also shown me strengths that I realized that I that I didn't realize I had and I'm so thankful for that and also the same with my writing like um when I was writing my novel I was just like to myself I'm the worst terrible writer in the whole world this is so crap but now that but towards the end of the year when I was editing it I was like this is actually not half bad like yeah there's some things that I need to work on there's st stuff that I need to work on story arc wise but it's not that bad I'm actually not that bad of a writer this is actually cool <laughs> like <laughs> And I think we need to get better at doing us that selves. Uh, I think we need to get better at doing that for ourselves, like giving us ourselves credit when it's due, and also admiring the strengths that we've built along the way. Because um, one of the things that I've learned through the past year is how resilient I am, and I, I've been pointed out about this by so many people in my life. Like, oh, you have a very resilient character trait. And I was like, oh, okay, cool, um, whatevs. <laughs> um, but I didn't realise how resilient I was until this year happened. And especially the three times I fell off my bike, like, I was, 
the second time when I fell out of my bike, you saw a bit of it through the National Novel Editing Month. I was in a really dark place for the next month, especially after the third fall happened as well. I was in a really like mentally dark place. I was just like, I am done. Like I, I can't do this anymore. Um, and it was physically very impactful, unfortunately, um, because one of the things that has contributed to my mental health recovery that I'm still sort of dealing with is going to the gym and just sort of like working out all my frustrations and anxieties at the gym and I do feel better afterwards and I couldn't do go to the gym for a while and when I did go to the gym I couldn't do what I couldn't fully push myself as normally that as much as I normally do and that was very emotionally upsetting um and very mentally hard and but um, one of the things that I learned through that is that my my resilience shined through. Like I pushed through, I pushed through it. I went through it. I felt all the emotions that I needed to do, and I spoke about it with friends. Um, and um, I, my yeah, I just I got through it, and I that was a lot of self willpower and a lot of self resilience that I did that and I think there's a lot of credit towards me about that um, because I was that close to being like <sighs> yeah um, I give up sort of thing um, so I I do have a lot of bit more respect for myself in that regard now because it's only when you're having a difficult time that you're personal strength shines through and mine did and I'm really I'm, I'm proud of myself actually yeah I'm proud of myself from getting getting through that and just not letting it not letting the dark thoughts win um so yeah uh <laughs> that was a bit of a deep emotional talk that I didn't intend to do but I'm really glad that I got out um, so yeah, um, I, I don't really know how to end that, <laughs> um, so I'm just gonna like say like that and just move on. How I feel about 2022, um, I actually feel very good about 2022 now, like as soon as the, um, as soon as midnight hit on 2020, for 2022, I felt insanely good. I felt like, yes, this is going to be my year. This is where all the things that I want to happen, all the hard work that I've um, put towards it is going to happen. I feel very positive about this new year. I just I just feel this energy around it that certain things are going to happen that are going to be so good and so great. I can't wait to just get into it and actually have a good time. And just be a bit more joyful this year um yeah <laughs> god it's getting into deep again i'm sorry <laughs> like uh, i just feel good about this year i can't explain it i just have a good vibe from this year and i feel like things are gonna happen and i'm so ready for it i'm so pumped and i can't wait to do more videos for youtube i can't wait to work more on my novel can't wait to just do everything really and just actually live a bit more this year because hopefully the world ha will hopefully calm down this year that I can do things more uh we can all do things more but I'm hope I'm also not <laughs> like um I'm also not betting on it because <laughs> I don't want to put my hopes up too high and uh, so but yeah I, I actually feel like this is gonna be a good year I yeah I yeah I don't really know what else to say towards that I just feel like you know what I mean there's a vibe and I feel like that vibe is very good so um that is it for the new old and new year's resolutions talk um let me know what you think in the comments down below or give me a like button um sorry I rambled through half of what I was talking about and also went into a bit of a deep emotional talk as well but I hope you found this video fun to listen to and I'll see you in the next video. Bye guys. <laughs>